A lot of you struggle when it comes to getting respect from girls. For some reason, you struggle to get them to talk to you the way you want to be talked to. Even when you're nice to them and you give them what they want, they still don't treat you like you want to be treated. The main issue is you look at these things from such a surface level perspective. You never look one step deeper to understand what they're thinking and why they may be acting this way. In this video, I'm going to give you guys three things to think about when it comes to getting more respect from women. Make sure to listen to all of them as they're all equally important. The first one is to stop being affected by what they say. Way too many of you guys are way too literal. You still haven't understood that women don't really mean what they say most of the time. This is because everything in their world rotates around how they feel in that moment. It is not unusual at all for a girl to have completely different opinions based on how she feels. Let me give you an example. There was a girl I was dating and I was going to take her out for ice cream. That day she was really excited to get ice cream because we haven't gotten ice cream in a while. On the way there she made a comment about how much she likes ice cream from this place. Fast forward two weeks later. I tell her hey let's go get ice cream. Her response was sure we can get ice cream but I don't like ice cream that much. Of course I couldn't help but laugh because it was so opposite to what she had said two weeks prior. But but because I understand women, and I understand that what she said was purely based on how she was feeling about it in that moment, I obviously didn't make a big deal about it. We went and got ice cream anyway, once we were there, she liked it and enjoyed it regardless. The point here is this, you shouldn't be so affected by what they say. If you try really hard to poke at every inconsistency in their beliefs, you'll be there all day. Understand that they feel X and that is their reality in that moment. That reality can change half an hour later. Accept this. If you let this type of thing get you emotional, it'll make you look weak. When you look weak, she won't like you as much and therefore her disrespect levels will go up. Be one of those guys that just gets it. The next thing you can do to earn respect is showcase value through your demeanor and presentation. A lot of you guys are very lazy and loose when it comes to how you present yourself. Some of the worst cases I've seen is adult men wearing high school clothing. Super baggy t-shirts, really loose pants, and old school puffy skater shoes. It's really hard to earn a baseline level of respect when you dress this way, guys. It's just the way it is. Unless, of course, you're Tony Hawk himself. Taking a little bit of care and how you present yourself can go a long way, especially when it comes to earning respect. It's seen as a mature and masculine thing to do. You don't necessarily have to go over the top. What I am saying is take care of how you present yourself. On top of that, consider your demeanor. Even if you're a solid guy and you do things of value, if you act very erratically, people will perceive this as random. Because of this, they'll perceive that you don't have a backbone or that you don't know what you're doing. As a result, your credibility will go down. The third thing you should do to gain more respect is make yourself a priority over them. Girls tend to be hyper emotional, guys. If you constantly prioritize what they want instead of what you want, you will run into problems. The issue is what they want is constantly evolving and changing over time. There's very little consistency around this. When you prioritize your work over their momentary emotions, Yes, momentarily, they may be annoyed with you. Over the long term, though, they will respect it. The reason for this is because now they understand that you know how to prioritize what's actually important. Going on cute dates every single day, all day, doesn't accomplish anything. These types of activities are purely for enjoyment. When you prioritize what's important to you, it generally means that you're going to become better. This, of course, is assuming that your priorities are actually proper. Proper meaning working out, focusing on making more money, or a number of other things that'll provide you tangible value. This doesn't mean never make time for her. What I'm saying is you have to exercise discipline and make sure that you're doing the right thing at the right time. Setting this boundary will come with some frustration from her once in a while. But once again, in the long run, she'll learn to accept this and respect you more as a result. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you're ready to take your self-improving game to the next level, don't forget to click the link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time.